To add a lettings property, click on the Lettings top menu tab and the Add link at the top of the property list. Then start searching for the landlord's name and click on Select against the correct automatic match. This takes you to the Add Property form and the minimum details you need to complete when adding a property are the status, property type, price, address details and the number of bedrooms. So if we go through the form, set the status and property type as appropriate. The type field contains the most common property types, but we can add to this list, so contact us at support at 1090 if you would like us to. The rent field is the marketing price of the property and is used in matches against applicants and on all marketing material. The valuation and minimum acceptable rent fields are for your reference only. The display address field is used as the address displayed on portals and all marketing material. This is typically the address of the property without the house number. The searchable areas are primarily used in property searches. Applicants can state in which areas they are looking and properties can be defined as being within one or more areas. You can maintain the list of searchable areas on the system from the admin tab, system data submenu link, and areas on the right. If the is HMO box is ticked, this property will be set up as a house in multiple occupation, allowing lettings to be set up on a room by room basis in the property. If you enter the property's EPC ratings into the field here, the system will automatically produce an EPC graph and send these values to the portals. Normally the current occupant is inferred as the tenant in the current letting at the property. However, if the tenancy is not set up in the system, i.e. an external tenant, or the occupant is the landlord, specify this in the current occupant field. This allows viewing notification emails to be directed at the current occupant. The letting fee is the initial setup fee that you will charge the landlord for setting up the tenancy, and the management fee is the ongoing monthly fee or commission for managing the property. These values are used as the default for the property when setting up a letting, but they can be overridden at the letting level. The expiry date fields for various checks and certificates can be entered here. Each one has a corresponding alert on the alerts dashboard, which is located under the Home top menu tab and Alerts in the submenu. In the Maintenance Notes field, you can provide any additional information regarding maintenance procedures at the property, for example preferred contractors, maximum job prices, etc. These notes will then appear as a reminder at the top of the maintenance pages, for example when adding a new maintenance job. Once you are happy with the details you have entered, click on the Add button to save the property.